It's a systemic failure. Albuquerque Public Schools failed to learn its former deputy superintendent, Jason Martinez, had pending sexual assault charges on a child against him. A failure this letter obtained by Action 7 News put squarely at the feet of APS leadership and superintendent Luis Valentino. The buck stops with Dr. Valentino. This was his hand-picked person. He had been made, he, he was notified numerous times uh, that this person was, fa was failing to submit to fingerprinting and uh, he didn't do anything about it. Attorney Sam Bregman is representing APS's interim associate superintendent for human resources, Karen Rudis. In this letter, Rudis says she told Valentino his deputy superintendent refused to get fingerprinted. She says she brought it up to Valentino almost weekly after Martinez was hired out of Denver, chosen by Valentino himself to handle instruction and technology for the district to the tune of $160,000 a year. She took her concerns to Dr. Valentino, who basically just said, I'm aware of it, and she did that numerous times. Rudis says when she brought it to Valentino's attention again on August 19th, he told her Martinez had resigned. Two days later, Valentino released a statement to the media saying, had he known of the charges Martinez was facing, he would have never hired him in the first place. But Bregman argues his client did her job and had APS leadership done its job, those red flags would have been caught earlier.